In this video, let's talk about mantras, mental phrases, and how they really play into your life. And if you haven't already, make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future. Mantras, mental phrases, motivational self-talk. We often have two camps of thought. One, people think it's bullshit, it's garbage and it doesn't work. And the other, live and die by it. What's correct? Well, there may not be a specific answer to that. What we can say is that there is increasing amounts of evidence to show that mantras, mental phrases, self-talk are these things that really do build us up and allow us to get to the next level. Recently, I had the privilege of interviewing Alex Hutchinson of Endure, and we went into the depths and the weeds of how the mind is actually one of the main proponents in allowing these Olympic athletes or these people who can do amazing things get there. And the reason is they're repeating the same phrase. They're thinking, oh, this isn't hard. I can get to the next level. And they're not spending time stressing and doing all these other things that our minds typically are doing while they're racing. See, on average, the normal person has 70,000 thoughts a day. 70,000. You don't want all those thoughts to be different, right? Because if they are different, then it's not only one chaos, but two, it doesn't move towards anything. And quite literally, your mind is working unconsciously to create all these thoughts. That's what's gonna happen when you have anxiety, fear, depression, because the what if continues to come and these thoughts continue to take over your mind, but you do control your mind. And we've talked about that in previous videos. Your mind is completely in control of yourself. And regardless of if you think that is true or not, it is something that is true. It may be hard to believe and it may be hard to do now because it is a skill to control your mind, but it is something that over time and through work you can do. Well, these 70,000 thoughts can often be different for a lot of people. Top high performers only have about 15 to 16,000 thoughts, which are their variation. And which allows them to get to the point that they need to go to. So what this means is by finding different mantras, mental phrases, motivational self-talk, and repeating it often, you tune your mind into the same message, right? We talk about the law of attraction before. The law of attraction, a lot of times, is just when you're focused on something, everything ripples out, and of course, then you create the reality that you wanted to have. Mantras, mental phrases, self-talk is just like that. By repeating this over and over again, I talked about I love myself in the video about loving yourself. By saying I love myself over and over again, you are creating the environment for you to love yourself. You're tuned into that, and so you're actions and everything starts to shape around you loving yourself. That goes for just about anything. My current mantra is I attract, I accept, I project, and I put a, a word in there in each one. And while I do have I am that I am, which is a very similar mantra phrase, on my arm, this is the new mantra that I've been using constantly to attract abundance, to accept abundance, and to project abundance. By repeating this over and over again, I'm tuned into that. So regardless of if you wanna get into the metaphysical, the quantum or not, this is something that just by tuning into allows top performers to be at the top of their game, to make the Olympic level and to win the gold medal or do whatever they're going to do. They have similar pain thresholds, but these mantras allow them to get past that. So Quite literally, what I'm saying from this video is focus on a mantra, create your mantra, create your phrase, create your motivational self-talk, whatever it is, and repeat it as often as you possibly can. This is what is going to be your guiding light to wherever you wanna go because well, our external environment a lot of times can cloud who we are, what we are, and make it so it's a lot harder to be ourselves. We can always control our internal environment, how we perceive things, how we act towards other things, and what we are thinking. So by making sure that you have a mantra, a mental phrase, some type of self-talk, and you could use mine, I attract, I accept, I project, put a word after each one. You can create your reality. You can create it in any way and you can utilize mantras in a way that allows you to get to where you want to go and allows you to feel the all-encompassing infinite knowledge. So that is it for this video. I know I went a little metaphysical on you, but make sure to press the like button if this helped you in any way. Press subscribe so I can continue making more videos like this in the future. And I look forward to seeing you in a video shortly.